welcome this month we are going to be doing the twin star block hi i'm jackie russell with jackie russell creates where we talk about everything quilting and i hope that i can inspire you to make traditional quilts and some art quilts so we're doing our block of the month and this month like i said we're going to be doing the twin star it looks something like this this is a um, seven and a half inch block it will finish as a seven inch block of course you can make it um, bigger if you'd like the twin star quilt block is a variation of the friendship star block and is great for beginner quilters it is the only nine patch that uses a split quarter square triangle which is this square right here but don't worry about it I'm going to show you how to to make that today this is a great block to make because it is so versatile and has the added bonus of improving your skills while learning some new techniques. So let's get started. So I'm making my star out of a fat quarter bundle that I had some scraps of. This is um, star strawberry. So this is pretty much what you need. You're gonna need a yellow and a green, red, a white, a blue, and then your center block. You're gonna need a friction pin, your rotary cutter, you're going to need some type of ruler for cutting, and you're going to need some snippets. And obviously your sewing machine, and you're going to need an iron. So you're going to cut your yellow blocks, you're going to need two of them, and they need to be three and a half inches. Your green, you'll need two, and they're three and a half inches. Your center block, you only need one, and it's two and three fourths. The red, you're going to need two, and they are three and an eighth. Your blue and your white, you're going to need one of each, and they're three and a half inches. Don't worry, I'll be putting the cut instructions down below. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our red blocks, and we're just going to cut them in half. There's two ways you can do that. You can take just a plain cutter, line up the corner, your ruler with the corners, and cut. Or if you have the perfect half square triangle ruler, which I will link down below in the description, you can use this side here and line up your corner with the cut line. And I just make the, you know, the corners right even with the mark and just cut it. So now we have four red triangles. We're gonna set those aside. We're gonna take our red, I'm sorry, our white and our blue you're gonna lay them right sides together. And then you're gonna take, you can take your regular ruler, draw a line down the middle, and then sew a quarter inch on each side. I have the half quarter square triangle, so that's what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use the side that has the solid black line down the middle and the two slits on the either side. So we're gonna just line up that black line with your core, corners and you're going to draw a line on each side and you're going to stitch on the lines and then you're going to cut right down the middle so i'm going to use the dotted line with the one slit and you're going to line up your dotted lines on your sewing your stitches and then you're going to cut right down the middle now we're going to take this over to the ironing board we're going to iron or press them and you're going to press the seams toward the blue side this is a really fast block to put together I think so you're just gonna snip off them docked tails on both of them then we're going to take our ruler and you can do a regular ruler or you can use the half square you're gonna line up your ruler with the corner that you didn't sew and now you have a quarter quarter square triangles so you'll do that on both sides. And now we're going to take the triangles that we just cut and we're gonna sew them to the red triangles. And then when we're done sewing, we're going to take to the ironing board and we're gonna press toward the red side. I'm going to chain stitch these at a quarter of an inch. I like to have the white up so I can make sure that I can 
lay down the seam and it don't get folded up. And now we're just going to trim off those dog ears and then we're going to set these blocks or these squares aside for a moment and we're going to pull out the yellow and the green. We're going to lay them right sides together, yellow on top of a green and we're going to do a half square triangle. So we're just going to draw a line either down the center if you're using a regular ruler and so that quarter inch on both sides. I'm just using a friction pin so that when I iron it, it will erase. And I'm gonna pin these so they don't slide while I'm stitching them. And I like to pin on both sides of the line. So I'm gonna go sew the, these um, and then I'm going to cut down the center and then iron them toward the yellow. The reason we're doing that is so it will, the seams will, nestle up together. If there's a particular block that you would like to see, comment below and let me know what it is and I'll put it on the list of blocks to make. So now we're just going to cut down the center and then we're going to go over to the ironing board and iron them to the yellow. Okay, these blocks, we're not just cutting off the dog tail. We're going to square them up to two and three fourths of an inch. So, what I do is I line up, um, I have a Ami grid, um, I have a three inch block right here that's broken into little sections. That's perfect for trying to cut this block down to the size and it has the 45 degree line through the center. So you're going to line up that 35 or 45 right through your center seam and then I line it up with two and seven eighths to three inch mark make sure it's straight and then you're going to trim this side off these that corner you're going to rotate it you're going to line up and then you're going to make sure that it's your two and three fourths and then you're going to trim this off and there is my two and three fourths block so i'm going to do that with the other three blocks all the tools that i used for this block i will put in the description below Okay, now we're going to lay the blocks out into strips that we need to sew. You're going to put one of your quarter square triangle with your center piece. So you're going to have, so a red's pointing down and a red's pointing up in your, with your center block. Then you're going to have a green with the red pointing up and the green pointing toward the red. So I'm going to stitch these strips together and the way I like to do is I'm going to leave them just like this. I'm going to take and fold this one over. I'm going to chain stitch. So we'll do that one first. But I wanted to show where we iron toward the yellow and we iron toward the red. These seams will nestle up right against each other making it so your corners are perfect when we press it open. You can pin these if you like. And now I'm just going to flip the last ones over. I press toward the blue and then I press these two toward the green. So I'm gonna do the same thing on this and then we'll stitch them together. Now we're gonna lay our block out. We want the yellow to pointing toward the outside. So that's how the block's going to be. So I'm just going to fold the top down and I am going to pin at this stage. I'm going to nestle up those seams so they lay flat. And we have those perfect corners once we sew this together. And your bottom corners should also nestle together. So I'm going to sew this strip. I'm going to press it toward the center. And then I'm going to pin on this other strip and sew it and then we're going to be done. So you can kind of see here on how the corners lay real nice up in there. That's what you're looking for when you nestle the edges together. Your seams so they're all nestled right up, butted up to each other. You'll get that nice crisp corner. Going to sew this and iron it and then we'll be back to show the final review. So here is our finished block, the twin star block. I hope you enjoyed learning how to make the block and I would love to see what you come up with. So if you'd like to join the Facebook group, I'll leave a link in the comments below. Well, as you can see, this is a simple, easy, fast block 
and it actually learns you some new techniques. So if you enjoy this block or learn something, please give it a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. And if there's a block that you would like to see, I'll leave it in the comments below and I'll be sure to add that to the list of blocks to make for you. If you learned something today and would like to stick around, please subscribe to my channel. Be sure to hit that notification bell so you know the next time that I post a video. Until then, happy quilting my friends.